Hey guys, it's Miss Baker. Um, today we're gonna be talking more about physical and chemical changes. I hope you've been reading about it all week like you're supposed to, but so now I'm going to do a demonstration for you. So the first one we're going to do is about physical changes. And as you've already read, physical changes are when you're just changing the state or the way that it looks. So I'm going to do a demonstration with this piece of paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take paper and scissors and create a snowflake. So it starts, as a full blank piece of paper, let's see what we can do. So as you can see, all that I've done is I've taken this piece of paper and cut some parts to it. Now, some of it is missing, but as we learned, the mass is never gonna go away. The matter never disappears. So what happened was all of those extra pieces are now on my kitchen table. So this is an example of a physical change. One thing I did is I folded the paper, another thing I did was I cut the paper, but at the end of the day, the paper is still the same paper that it was when it started. So this is one of many examples of physical changes. I wanna see if you can figure out some more examples as you're doing your work today at home. Now it's time for us to talk about chemical changes. With physical changes, the property of the matter stays the same, but with chemical changes, I'm turning it into a completely different piece of matter altogether. So I'm going to demonstrate that by making chocolate chip cookies. So I'm going to be taking two eggs, baking soda, salt, chocolate chips, brown sugar, regular sugar, flour, vanilla extract, and butter, and creating something entirely new when I make the chocolate chip cookies. Can't wait to show you how it's gonna work out. As you can see, after mixing the ingredients, nothing about the ingredients in itself has changed. Chocolate chip chips are still chocolate chips. The sugar is still sugar. The brown sugar is still brown sugar. The only difference is that they're mixed together. So right now, all we have is a physical change and a big mess. So once I put it into the oven, that's when we're gonna see what happens with the chemical change. Let's watch. Before putting them in the oven, I wanna go ahead and show you, I did one more physical change before baking these cookies and turning them into something completely new. I took them from one big bowl of cookie dough and put them onto two trays of 24 cookies. Can't wait to see what happens next. Have a great night.